got a great video for you today on how to have fun cruising. That's right, this one is all about Carnival Jubilee. That's right, we took it out in Galveston. This is one amazing cruise ship. It was delivered to Carnival back in December of 2023 and it entered service on the 23rd of December. It is one beautiful cruise ship. It is just like the brand new Mardi Gras. It's one of the largest cruise ships in the world. This thing is, it comes in at 182,000 gross tons. So are you ready to go? Let's do this! Well, we got a great video for you today. That's right, we go from Galveston all the way down to Honduras, specifically Mahogany Bay in Roraton. This place is amazing. Carnival has done an incredible job with this port and we're gonna take you on an adventure like no other. If you haven't, definitely subscribe to our channel. Check out our other videos on our other sister channel, How to Have Fun Outdoors in Galveston, the Mardi Gras, and also our other sister channel, How to Have Fun Camping, where we stayed at the Galveston KOA. So you can check out both of them. But today, this is one great video. Why? Because most people go to Honduras with the Jubilee and they go on the typical shore excursions. We're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna go to the northeast side of the island where no tourism is. And guess what? Aliche found this little charter. These guys bought a boat and they're showing everybody the northeast part of the island and it is absolutely spectacular. I call it the Venice of Central America and you'll see why. But you're gonna get to swim with sharks. That's right, Aliche loves sharks. You're gonna definitely check, we love watching that. But then in addition, we're gonna be snorkeling with turtles. That's right, we get right in the water with them and hang out along with tarpons and all kinds of other fish. But we're even gonna catch a tuna. That's right, if you haven't, definitely subscribe to our channel. Check out our Facebook, Instagram page. And thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors. Honduras is located in Central America. It actually borders Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and its coastline is actually in both the Caribbean Sea to the north and the Pacific Ocean to the south. It is really an incredible uh, country. About 10 million people, as you see here, we're getting off the Jubilee, deport, uh, porting uh, here at that Mahogany Bay port that Carnival built, which is just absolutely stunning. You get your picture taken, but better yet, wait till you see all the shops, restaurants, souvenirs, you name it. They've got it in this port. You can see over there, you got a little sky lift, a lot of recreational areas at the port, lots of things to do. But we're also going to show you all the shore excursions uh, in this video that when you come off of Carnival, if you didn't book on Carnival, there's lots of other options. Here's the Mahogany Bay. There is the Jubilee, one fantastic ship. And here is the port. We walk in, really nice area. The currency is H&L, but everybody takes dollars and credit cards for the most part. So you're going to be in good shape. Take a look at chocolates, perfume, glasses, hats, recreational areas like that with pools and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you want to just hang out at the port, you absolutely can. If you want to take a carnival shore excursion, no question about it, lots of great options. If you want to go on a crazy adventure, watch this video and make sure you're up for it. The one big tip is make sure you're back in time because if you do your independent tour, the ship can leave without you if you're not back. Wow, all kinds of cool stuff. Look at that. Snorkeling. More city tour. Ah, city tour. You got the round trip. Got the best right here, brother. Really? I got the best. That's right. That's all those locations. Hop on, hop on, brother. All right, very good. Bring your family man. right here in Mahogany Bay. Right there. Horseback ATV. All right, very good. All right, say hi to everybody back home. How that guy's doing? Welcome. Hello, right here. How much for this? That's for $65. $65. How much for that one? That one is not available right now. Not available. How much for the horses? It's $60. Though. $60 and? $75. $75. All right. And that's your Zip Line Express right there. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks. So as you depart the Mahogany Bay port, you're going to head out right here. And if you're on a Carnival cruise, shore excursion they're going to guide you to a shuttle bus and you're going to head out from there 
But as you exit out of the port, this is what it looks like. You've got your taxis and other people set up. But if you're going on a shore excursion by set up by the locals, you're going to have to walk down this path outside of the port. You exit the port here, and now you can see all of the different shore excursions available. Not part of the cruise line, but you're on your own risk. Rusty, what's how? Up, what's up, buddy? I... We do fishing and touring, man. We do $100 an hour, man. We take you guys to the best spot, catch some nice tuna. Best yeah. guy, nice here. Man. Show me where you go. We go, we go right here, man. We go right here to West Bay. This is where we go right here. We start out from here and we leave out. Ah, very good. Some good tuna. All right, so call Rusty. Yeah, you got call it. Rusty, check me out. All right, very good. Thank yeah. you. Let's go, Road yeah. Town yeah. Tours. This is me, see? That's this a good is looking me. guy right there. Yeah, let's go yeah. Ah, good looking Let me guy. Show you have a great tour. Right? We got, we got what like, kind of tour do you have? We do an island tour, sightseeing beach, you name it, we got it. And also, we got all different type of cars. We have like five minivan, five big buses. Five. Wow. We have like 10 different bay calling all, you know. Now, this how about beach. you said that if I left the wife, you could set me up on the beach with like four or five of those Honduras sure, ladies, yes, right? Man, yes, man. All right, hey, let's go. go. Let's go tour. Tour. All right. <laughs> but as I stated earlier, Liche had our tour all set up. Hold that sign up. Look at that. Yeah, we made it. Oh. Yeah, finally, the driver is here. We headed over to our shuttle car and off we went. All right, we got George, we got Aliche, yeah, and we're, we're off ready. to the adventure. This is always a lot funner than standing in a big line queuing up with Carnival when you can go on your own little adventure. Yeah, I agree 100%. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. One big tip is make sure you're back on time when you do your own tour. The ship will leave without you, and you don't want that to happen. But clearly when you go on your own little tour, you can stop in any place, take a look at all the different views, and it's a lot of fun. Woo! Welcome to Mahogany Bay. Rotten! Awesome. Yeah, we had a great time, and we stopped at a lot of little souvenir shops. You can buy pretty much anything at a quarter of the price that you can at the port, especially the farther away from the port you get. No question about it, we had a great time on the drive out to our charter. And we even stopped at this really cool place that is no longer in business. But take a look at this ship. It was remarkable. This thing was huge and never really seen anything like it before. It was super awesome. Take a look at this. All right, everyone, this is Aliche's old boyfriend. That's right. Liche, you got crab? Uh-uh. You got crabs? Yeah. Well, we got some gold, that's right, to pay for the charter, and we were on our way. And up next, one of the best charters we ever had, and what an amazing captain. Check out this. You're going to love it. This is Junior right there, folks. Hey, we got a little bit of rain, but we're ready. You got a good driver here. He took care of us. All right, buddy. Thanks so much, man. Yeah, man. Boom. Yeah. You're definitely going to want to watch the rest of this video because we've got sharks, snorkeling with sharks. We've got turtles. We've got fishing for tuna. All kinds of really cool stuff. Check this out. You ready, Lucia? I am. All right. Let's do, this. Let's do it. This is the east side. The east side is the paradise side of the island. The east side is the best side, right? Yeah, the best side. Up here is not as developed as it is down on the west side, but it's very unique. Everything is very beautiful up here. That's what makes it so uh, so precious, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And how about the fishing? Fishing's better too, fishing right? Fishing is very good. All because of the same reason. It's less traffic up here on the east side. Down there, there's more boats, more dive boats, more fishing boats. And the name of the bay we're in right now? Right here is Oak Ridge. Okay. So this is where I was, I grew up as a kid. You did? Right there in that little community that you see to the right of us. Right over here. All of that is all family, family land here. We have some uncles, some aunts that live in those different houses. Wow. 
The other big benefit of doing your own tour is going to places that you would never see on a normal tour. Take a look at the little village built. It's like Venice. I mean, it was incredible. Right on the water. Honduras is actually a significant producer of coffee. It's one of their major export products, and Honduran coffee is just outstanding. We found that out ourselves. But take a look at the homes, all the little fishermen. Uh, just really super cool. We were blown away by this area. And again, nothing going on here. No big tourist area. Uh, we were in true Honduras. And boy, oh boy, did we really enjoy this part of the trip. So how did this island, you know, come about? What's the history on the island? Well, the island a long time ago uh, once belonged to the British, you know. So they handed it over then to Honduras later on. Okay. The history of this country is pretty unique. It gained independence from Spain back in 1821, but then you had all these other islands that were either controlled by the Spanish or the British. This particular area was settled with British, and some of those descendants uh, are still there today as our captain. So Roatan is part of the Bay Islands, and they're known for their beautiful beaches. Excellent scuba diving and snorkeling, lots of great fishing, lots of activities. Absolutely a great place to visit. Wow, Aliche, pretty amazing, huh? Oh my gosh, it's yeah. very beautiful here. So what's this one called? This All is right, gorgeous. Guys, so this area here is called Fort Morgan Key. This is where the pirates used to have their fort on, and as you can see right there, that's where the cannons used to sit. You see the grooves inside the wall? Oh, right yeah. There? And this is the main channel right here. They used to keep lookout for all the other pirates. Well, the video just can't show the beauty of this area. It was absolutely amazing. Honduras has several national parks and protected areas, and you can see why. I mean, tons of natural landscapes, diverse wildlife, going through these channels where it's just remarkable. The amount of birds and fish and everything we saw during this trip was pretty incredible overall. But we had a great time, but it's now time, that's right, to get out to the sharks, the turtles, the tuna, are you ready? You're gonna have a great time. This is where the video gets really good. So this is quite a canal all the way through here. I mean, it's pretty, how big is the island? The island stretches 37 miles long and it's four miles wide. Wow. Honduras is amazing, but back in 1998, the Hurricane Mitch devastated Honduras, causing extensive damage and loss of life. It's still considered one of the deadliest Atlantic hurricanes in history. It was quite devastating to almost everyone who lived in this region. But hey, we're ready for some shark action. I hope you are. Let's go ahead and get started with the sharks. 1916 beer from Honduras. All right, All right. Let's it's do time it. to try Honduras beer. Let's go for it. That's your third one. You better slow down. We haven't even went fishing yet. Oh, no, no, no. I need to get, get this and then I go fishing. <laughs> you see how many fish more again? All right. Look at here, folks. All kinds of good stuff. These guys got us loaded up. Let's go do it. Time for the sharks. Look at that. <laughs> Big ladder. I'm ready. Time for sharks, I'm coming. I like it. It's all the, like, look. We have everything blue. Everything matches. There you These go. The weather was crazy. They almost wanted to pull out, but Aliche said, we're going for it. Look at that, Aliche. Don't worry, I'll be there. <laughs> All right, Aliche, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Look at it. I have everything I need, and 
I have uh, two gentlemen here ready to save me from the sharks or anything else happened to me. So I am pretty safe. Okay, let's go. For those of us that are new to the channel, don't worry, Aliche actually was a competitive swimmer, a lifeguard, hung out uh, in Italy growing up, swim racing, and also ended up in California. Did a lot of long distance swimming. She loves the water. Typically, they would not do the shore excursion on a day like this, but once they understood her background and her abilities, they were all about it. And boy, oh boy, we jumped in, both of us, and take a look at these nurse sharks. They were everywhere. This is one secluded hot spot. It's in a very unique area that's hard to get to. The water was pretty rough. You don't quite actually see it, but let's go underneath and check out these incredible sharks. Nurse sharks are absolutely amazing. These things tend to rest in groups during the day with up to 40 individuals piled on top of one another, and they hunt alone at night. Unlike many sharks, these species are thought to be non-migratory. The nurse shark adapts to the cold by becoming even less active. But overall, these things love to rest on the bottom of the ocean. Some quick facts about these guys is that, you know, size-wise, a female nurse shark averages seven and a half to nine feet and uh, are slightly larger than the males. Um, no question, these things seemed huge when we were underwater. The population status, nurse sharks, um, you know, are not uh, in a conservatory status. Males reach sexual maturity around 18 years, females at 20 to 22 years, and females can produce a litter of about 20 to 25 pups. So in this area, they're pretty popular overall. No species are known to be regulatory prey on nurse sharks, but scientists have found evidence that sometimes other sharks, including lemon tiger, bull sharks, great hammerhead sharks, some of the dangerous sharks that Aliche has uh, snorkeled with in the past have actually attacked these nurse sharks. But overall, they are fun to watch, and we really enjoyed getting down there up and close with them. And you can watch Aliche. She's right on top of them. And boy, oh boy, we had a great time with these sharks.
sharks are really gentle giants. They're a super cool shark. I'm like tiger, bull sharks, great white sharks, uh, where their jaws open completely wide. They actually have small mouths and they still have a couple of set of small razor sharp teeth, but they tend to be bottom feeders searching for seafloor, uh, you know, small prey and, you know, that's that's about it. They're pretty, uh, you know, non-threatening to humans and it's a lot of fun. Highlight, uh, you know, anytime you get an opportunity to do swimming with nurse sharks, definitely take advantage of it from Maldives to all the different parts of the country. We actually swam with nurse sharks even down uh, in the Caribbean. So lots of fun for sure. Uh, they're memorizing the watch, they're twisting, turning all through the water. As you can see, uh, you can get eye level with them, which is really quite awesome. And uh, sometimes they'll swim straight into you and uh, straight away from you and straight underneath you. Uh, it's pretty fun overall. Uh, but we would highly recommend it. You know, uh, they've got other fish that follow around them. But overall, nothing like swimming with uh, nurse sharks. And we're going to move on and show you some of the other fun off of this cool island. But uh, take a couple of final looks here. And uh, we'll move forward to check out some turtles and some tuna fishing with the leche. She caught her first tuna down here and boy oh boy did we have a lot of fun check these guys out pretty amazing we got going here. You got a teaser line out? Yeah, that's correct. So right now we have a teaser line out. What that does, it, uh, it makes a lot of splash on the water top. So that attracts the fish from down deep. They think it's a big fish and they come up and try to eat it. Ah, okay. Well, heck, if that's the idea, we just tie a leche to a rope and send her hey. out back. <laughs> Another big tip from how to have fun cruising is always ask your charter to try to set up a custom trip. 
For us, we really wanted to do the sharks. As you can see, that was incredible. But we also wanted to try to catch some tuna. Liche had never caught a tuna before. And this area of Honduras is known for its tuna fishing. So sure enough, these guys accommodated us. And crazy weather, you name it, we still pulled it off. A lot of fun for sure. Just like that. So how far do you think we're down right now? How many feet? Right now we're probably like about 300 feet. 300 feet deep right here. Wow. And there's a bank that comes up right here, right up to 80 feet, 86 feet. Okay. The captain loved the leche and was showing her all the hot spots to catch this tuna. Okay, there she is, folks. Look at this. Oh, I right. something <laughs> Fish on! Aliche had the tuna of her life, and boy, oh boy, what a fight! Nothing like that tuna fight in Aliche. And take a look, she caught it. We got into them and had a lot of fun. There was our third one. It was pretty crazy out there, but we had a great time and absolutely loved it. So, after all that fishing, it was time for some lunch, and boy, oh boy, we were hungry. The captain decided to take us to his favorite place. Check this out. Hey, Alice, you ready for some lunch? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I hope that our ship doesn't end up like that sailboat. Yeah, we got we got the good crew here. Yeah, they are doing a pretty good job. Yeah, look at that. Pretty nice. We got a good place, Captain. Oh yeah, the best, the, the best, best. Spot here on the east side in Saint Helene. This is Geraldine's place. Okay. Everything is always fresh. The seafood, fresh, the fish, and they cook love. it right up. Wow, that's awesome. If you need a reason to watch how to have fun outdoors, it's all these tips. This is the best restaurant on the entire island, and it's in the middle of nowhere. If you get a chance, you gotta go. What do you think? Pretty awesome, huh? This is just spectacular and these ladies are so nice <laughs> the fish is caught fresh every single day and she fries up whatever they catch and believe me the food was remarkable there was kids just fishing off the docks there were fish all around the docks this was such a cool little village we walked around met a lot of the locals no tourism such an amazing day we had here you guys ready? Hey! Yeah, set the best captain here! Alright, let's yeah, do it! Everybody contact Lewis and Junior! Woohoo! And I gotta tell you, our Captain Lewis and their team was absolutely amazing. Their primary economy is built around our agriculture uh, with key exports including coffee, bananas, palm oil, you name it. But the part that we hung out in was all about fishing. I mean, there was just fish everywhere and uh, no question about it it was excellent 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 but like i said we got to walk around our captain knew a lot of the locals so nobody was spooked and it was really great to meet some of the kids and families and see how they live in this part of the country where quite honestly it is a really really tough place i mean they're in the middle of nowhere but as you can see fish is a big part of feeding the communities, and um, boy, the lifestyle is pretty amazing. Everyone seemed to be happy, cheerful, super friendly, and uh, we just really enjoyed this launch. It was like nothing you would have on a normal shore excursion on a cruise line, but guess what? We had a great time, and tons of Spanish and African influences, the tons of a lot of popular dishes, but take a look at that fresh seafood. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. That's rice cake. Rice, rice cake? cake. Okay. Yeah, we call that a pot cake. That's made right here on the island. Baby turtle, hi. Yeah, what happens, a lot of sargasm floats in at a certain time of year. Yeah. So they come in with the sargasm and what they do is they catch them and they raise them to get bigger. And when they get bigger, then they release them. So that's a big help for the turtles. Yeah. So a lot of these little turtles would die without the help of the locals and believe it or not they let them all go free and they do very you well. make that cake? Yes. I Come did. on, you yes, did? Yes. All right, I'll be back for more of that cake for sure. You're that was welcome. amazing. Very, very good. Friend with you. So what is it? What do you call your place? 
This is Saint Helene. My my restaurant calls La Palapa, Geraldine's Place. All right. And I am Geraldine. There you go, folks. Oh, there you now you know where to get some great seafood. Thanks so much. That's right, fresh seafood. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, for someone that lives in New Hampshire and we get lobster and all kinds of local fish and clams and steamers, um, it's pretty hard to beat New England when it comes to seafood. But I have to admit, we were pretty blown away the the freshness of this, you know, catching it and cooking it all within a couple of hours is quite remarkable. So in any case, we're moving on. We got some more adventures for you. And you're going to love this next one. It's like what I call mini Sea World. Get ready to see what they had built with turtles and all kinds of barracuda and other fish. Just absolutely amazing. So the locals built this to basically educate the other locals on all of the different fish, turtles, lobsters, everything that you would see in the ocean. And pretty much this is like a little local tourism uh, facility for a lot of the young kids that don't have a SeaWorld or, you know, televisions to kind of understand this. They would go there, give a small donation, um, and uh, were able to see and get in here and snorkel with the different um, fishes and uh, turtles and things of that nature. So super cool how they educate their young and uh, families uh, would come in and, and really spend a, a couple hours here. You can uh, also do lunch uh, at this site, but it was super cool. And it was fun just to get down there and snorkel with all of these fish up and close, uh, was, was just, just absolutely amazing. But uh, overall, we loved it. And another crazy adventure uh, is part of this trip down to Honduras. Cool. 
Wow, what an amazing experience. Something that you're not going to find in a normal tourist area, right? I mean, this was incredible to get this close to the turtles, the tarpons, the fish, the lobsters, you name it. We had an amazing time. Well, all we can say is we love the Carnival Jubilee. We'll be doing a walkthrough video and much more, a tips video like we did on the Mardi Gras, which were super popular videos, over 250,000 views on those. And quite honestly, we love the Jubilee. It was just like the Mardi Gras, same type of experience. Just great shows, great food, beautiful brand new ship. And we believe you will have a great time. Definitely, uh, you will most likely hit Mahogany Bay and Waratan. And, you know, Honduras is a cool place. So we encourage you to definitely get off the ship and do some of the shore excursions and have a great time. No question about it. It is a great place. So again, Carnival had lots of shore excursions for this Mahogany Bay, and like we highlighted, there's definitely a lot of um, shore excursions available once you get into the port. Um, but if you call ahead, that's uh, in want an adventure similar to this, you're going to want to call ahead, do your due diligence, find out all the pricing tips, logistics, and what kind of guarantees to get back to the ship on time. But overall, an incredible experience with these guys. What a day. You caught the tuna. Lee My Chase. first tuna. First tuna. We had uh, the big boy Junior here that's the captain down here in Honduras. You got to hook up with these guys. And we got Keaton. That's right, folks. He's the one and only Heads Up Marketing. Tell everybody how to get a hold of you guys if you want to do some fishing down here. You can check us out at Roatide.com. We have a Facebook page as well. Also our Instagram at Roatide. Call us up. We're ready to fish, man. All right, let's do it. These boys knew what they were doing. Alice yeah. said, "I never caught a tuna." They set it up. I deliver. And, and they delivered. I can say officially that I got a tuna. Woohoo! All right. So, what do you got to say to everyone back home? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and thank you so much for watching. We got to hustle, Alice. There's nobody left. We're the last ones here. We gotta go. I know, let's do it. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video from How to Have Fun Cruising, another great cruising adventure from our channel. If you haven't, please subscribe. It would mean so much to us. And definitely hit that like button so we can get this video out to everyone. Comment down below. Have you been to Mahogany Bay, Roraton, Honduras? Have you done any type of fishing charters, snorkeling charters? What was your favorite? And thank you so much for watching. How to have fun cruising.